everybody, this is Lollipop081 MLE here today, and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. And this time, yes, it's a remake edition. We are doing Queen Victoria's Five Daughters, and also, I'm doing something a little bit different with um, this episode, and hopefully for future episodes. I'm actually not going to speed up the speed art process that much, because uh, it's too, it makes them too short. So we're going to do them a little bit longer here. So this is Victoria, the Princess Royal Empress of Germany, also known as Vicky. Now, Vicky here was married to Emperor Frederick III. She was Crown Princess of Prussia, and she was Prince Albert's favorite child. They shared very similar views, as we all know. She was very liberal, so was her husband albeit her father-in-law was very conservative she was out she was also um a she also promoted um nursing and all that stuff but like honestly um like again her their uh four three or four of their children were raised by governesses and all that stuff, but then after the younger children were born and Siggy, uh, um, Sigis, Sigismund passed away of meningitis, Victoria, Vicky took a hand at raising them and the younger ones herself. And also, uh, Queen Victoria and her namesake, um, did not get along that well. Their, their relationship was icy. Although, I see they still had a loving relationship and all that stuff. Like, let's get that straight. So, for this remake, I based Queen uh, Vicky, Princess Vicky here, on a photograph of her in court dress. And the photo would be right here. And, really, with Vicky, she, again, she was one thing that a lot of people could get annoyed about. She, oh, she was also the first to become a grandmother. Um, her daughter Charlotte had a daughter. Um, yeah, she had a daughter, and they both had porphyria. So that's that's one thing uh, to note, and all that stuff. And ever what I read, she wasn't like one of the gr Vicky wasn't one of the greatest beauties by any means, but to me, she basically looked like Queen Victoria, but she, like, looked very much more youthful and all that sh stuff. And also, she was the mother of Kaiser Wilhelm II. Yep. The guy that started World War I. And we know he wasn't favorable with her younger brother, uh, King Edward VII, and his son and cousin George the fifth and I'll get to George the fifth um in the few next episode where I covered uh Princess Alexandra and Princess Dagmar but we're talking about Queen Victoria's daughters here um anyway she also had um again she had um also produced royals like Sophia of Hellenes or Greece and she also had kids and there was Margaret the baby of the family she had six sons including uh, two sets of twins and she became queen of Finland for like a bit and then after that it's like nah like, it, this whole royal thing ain't gonna work so I did work um, did pretty well with the accusation of Vicky. Oh, and before I continue, um, all these pieces that are showcased in this episode are up on my DeviantArt at lollipop one mle link in the description below. So, I tried my best to make it very accurate to the photograph, and I think I did a pretty good job. So, here's Princess Vicky, Princess Royal, and Empress of Germany. Next up, we have her younger sister, um, second eldest daughter of Queen Victoria and Albert. This is Princess Alice, Grand Duchess of Hesse. So, Victoria, uh, something I forgot to mention, 
uh, Vicky was born in November of 1840, like literally nine months after Queen Victoria and Albert got married. Now, with Alice, she was born in the spring of 1843. And um, basically, um, the court was like, oh, congratulations. Oh, yeah, it's a daughter. Uh, boy. We know Alice came before Alfred and all that stuff. So she was the family caregiver and she was the more, most sensitive of Queen Victoria's children. And she was very close to Vicky and Edward and all that stuff. And all that stuff. And, um, let's see. I'm looking. Oh, yeah. Her, when Victoria, Vicky got married, Alice was very upset. But she was the family caregiver. She was very compassionate of the common people. And she nursed her grandmother, Victoria, Duchess of Kent, Queen Victoria's mother, in her last months of life. And she was the unofficial secretary for Queen Victoria after Albert passed away. And all that great stuff. And she was, um, she married uh, Prince Louis of Hesse, who eventually became Grand Duke of Hesse and by Rhine. And one of the things that many people don't know is again, she had a happy family life as well. Their wedding was not great <laughs> because Queen Victoria was, de it, they were still mourning over Albert and Queen Victoria was like, yeah, you could dress in white, but you need to change it into black after the ceremony. Dead serious. So the marriage went ahead and she became Princess of Hez and she settled in Darmstadt in a modest home and had um, five surviving ki seven kids and all that stuff Victoria Ella Irene um, Ernest yeah Ernest Louis I believe yeah Ernest Louis uh, Freddie Alex and Marie and yes and what I mean by Alex I mean Tsarina Alexandra of Russia Alice was um uh Tsarina Alexandra's mother and as we if you watch documentaries on the last Romanov family you know that Alexandra is the granddaughter of Queen Victoria through Alice and with Al oh I forgot to mention here the outfit she's wearing is also based off of a photograph of her in the 1860s Probably shortly after she wed Louis and all that great stuff. Now, one of the sad things was that she was a carrier of hemophilia, the blood disease that took the lot, basically her younger brother Leopold suffered from, and also Beatrice was a carrier. Um, so basically... Alice was unfortunately the first she actually one of the best um one of her accomplishments was that she founded a hospital in Darmstadt to treat treat the sick and the wounded and she took advice from her good friend Florence Nightingale on like um the practices of treating the sick and the ill and all that stuff she unfortunately died in uh 1780 1778 1878 not 1978 and also her daughter Marie passed away that same year so here's Alice completed so she passed away at 35 and all that stuff so next up is Helena now Helen Princess Helena or Hel Helen Chin or Lenchin was the middle child of the family and she was also princess of Schleswig-Holstein after she married Prince Christian of Schleswig-Holstein. It was a younger son 
And Victoria was like, oh, if you're going to get married, your your husband needs to come over to England. I want to have you close. So Helena was also an unofficial secretary as well. She was born in the spring of 1846, and she died at age 70. And she was relatively very much happy um, with Christian, who was 15 years older than her and all that stuff. 18 for a 15 she was not and also a lot of people describe her as not one of the greatest beauties she was basically the quote here is that she was chunky dowdy and double chin honestly i think she looked a lot like queen she looked the most like queen victoria and again her outfit is basically the same outfit she wore in um the early to mid 1860s and her younger sister Louise wore a similar outfit. So basically, um, like Alice, uh, Helena was also into nursing, and she was one of the founding members of the of the British Red Cross, and she founded the R Royal School of Needlework. That's something you guys probably don't know. And um, she. Um, she was also interested in writing, and she was also artistic. She draw, drew, drew and paint, and after that, she was overshadowed by Louise. So, she was a girl of public good, and all that stuff. Even though a lot of people, um, even members of her family, criticized Victoria for being like uh, sacrificing Helena's happiness. Because she wanted um, uh, Prince Christian to come to England, to Great Britain, and be like, "Hey, you need to stay here," and because I like to have my daughter close. But Helena was relatively happy, and she was also um, she widow. She became a widow after she and Christian celebrated their 50-year golden anniversary, and she um, other tragedies include she lost her oldest son prince uh christian victor in the boer wars and she doesn't have any living descendants today and she also lost harold who passed away in infancy and she had a stillborn son but again her one of her greatest accomplishments is that she was also into nursing and she was also a into needlework and she was a writer and all that stuff and she lived a relatively quiet life after afterwards and and what not um she basically living again living to 77 that was pretty long again even though medical sciences uh all that stuff and some people say she was a hypochondriac but she Again, she was devoted to nursing, and she was the closest to Alfred, her younger brother. And though she was completely contemporaries, be like, oh, she was de fearfully devoted to the queen, where she did not have a mind of her own. No, no, she also act uh, actively campaigned for women's rights. And again, she and Beatrice, the baby of the family, were close to the queen, and. Again, Helena remained close until the Queen's death. And her name was the last to be written in the Queen's 70-year-old journal. Wow, that is something interesting. And all th that awesome stuff. And she had brown hair. Oh, I did not know she had amber eyes. I gave her blue eyes. Whoops. But that's okay, guys. Again, I... And she was... Lo and she was loyal and clever and had a business and all that stuff. So, again, someone actually commented being like, this is pretty and all that stuff. But anyways, we are going to be moving on to the... So, hold on. So, I kind of had to create the background like in that photograph there <laughs> again it's all unscripted so 
here's Helena uh, completed and all in her glory. Now, in that same photograph, we have her younger sister, Louise. Basically, the rebel of the family, so to speak. Well, she wasn't really a big... Basically, she was one of the early suffragettes and feminists for a princess. So, Louise was Duchess of Argyle after her marriage to John Campbell, Marquis of Lorne, and the heir to the Duke of Argyle. And although their marriage was, eh, it was blissful at first, um, it did not result in anything. They don't have any, they didn't have any kids, and mostly it could be due to Queen Victoria limiting their activities and allege homosexuality from uh, John Campbell. So, Louise was born in the spring of 1848, and she was nicknamed Little Miss Y, and she was also very, very artistic, like Helena, but Louise had a special, she was the most artistic, she was an avid actress, she played piano, and she also danced very well, and she attended the Royal College of Art, and all that stuff but again after Albert's death she was pretty bored pretty much bored she was about 13 when she he died and when Louise requested the ballroom to be opened for her debutante dance and whatnot the queen was like nah no and she was pretty much bored the entire time and she was a secretary, again, another uh, secretary to the queen after um, Helena got married. So she did get married, and her, oh, her wedding veil, she designed herself. And she was also a viceroy consort to Canada. So she does have some, like, there's a Lake Louise and a Mount Alberta. And the province of Alberta was also named after her. So she was pretty much beloved, but she was also had a lot of um, rumors. Like she had lovers, and one of them died while she was in his studio. But she was an unconventional royal, after all. And again, she preached for. She was one of the early suffragettes. She wanted women to have the right to vote, and she shared a lot of her liberal views with her older brother Edward who was also very close to her and she was also close to Alice but again again she Beatrice and Helena did not have a really good relationship mostly because Louise was jealous being the most beautiful princess of the beautiful daughter of the family she was jealous of Helena and Louise having happy marriages because her marriage was not happy but again Louise is one of my favorites here she vouched for women's rights and she was an avid artist and who doesn't love artists here so she was very close um with her brother Prince Arthur and she was also one of King Edward VII's favorite sisters. But she was the closest to Leopold, her youngest brother, the Duke of Albany, until. And she was very devastated when he passed away after suffering complications of hemophilia after a bump on the head. And she lived to be the ripe old age of 91. And to the same age to the day, Arthur also passed away at the same age as Louise. She passed away in 1939 and all that stuff. But again, in this remake, I she's about 14 to 16 based on the photograph I use. So here's Beatrice. Yes, Beatrice. Beatrice, Beatrice. The baby of the family. And Queen Victoria's favorite child. Well, I think... In reality, um, Arthur was Victoria's favorite child, but Beatrice had the benefit of being the youngest 
being the baby of the family and um Victoria enjoyed giving her baths and noted that Beatrice was a pretty pretty baby and all that stuff but after Albert's death um Beatrice became a devoted companion to her mother and all that stuff like she also became um, her secretary for a while and she had possible suitors even though the queen was set against Beatrice marrying even after the queen basically um, Beatrice did not like weddings at all here's a quote from her when she was like 14 she replied I don't like weddings at all I shall never be married I shall stay with my mother and she um, did writings on the Queen's behalf it, with political correspondence and also dictated her, um, her journals to her and Beatrice was also into photography that's another thing she was also artistic like her two older sisters that's something I learned but when she was like hey I want to get married and um so she had possible suitors um, uh, before Prince Henry came into the picture. Um, she was supposed to marry um, uh, Napoleon Eugene, Eugene, who was the ex son of the exiled Emperor Napoleon III. And then after that, he died in the Franco... Um, let's see... He died in the Anglo Zulu War. Okay. And then it was rumored that she would marry Louis. Marry Grand Duke Louis. And I'll, oh, so basically with Beatrice this time around, I made her a little bit more older, probably around her um, late teens, early 20s. And based off this photograph right here, and I gave her a mint green dress and it's natural form error let's get that straight and then she was supposed to marry henry's older brother but victoria was like yeah don't talk to him just ignore him but after she got engaged to henry queen victoria was upset they didn't talk for a few months but then she walked personally walked Beatrice down the aisle and all that stuff and kept her composure until she and her husband went on honeymoon. Also Beatrice is the mother of Victoria Eugenie who later became Queen of Spain. And also this is up on my deviant art. I hope you enjoyed this um, as much as I did. All the pieces are up on my deviant art. Follow me on my social medias. Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit. And I'll see you next time. See you every Friday. Peace.